Yo, stream. Streamy, stream, stream. Hey, what's up, you guys? It's your boy, Jono. We're gonna go do some dual nest hunting. I discovered this dual nest today. It is uh, pretty unbelievable. And randomly, it says it's raining, even though it's not. And um, like, it's weather boosted weather boosted Pikachu and weather boosted Squirtle right now. Like, it's unbelievable. It's crazy. What is People are driving really weird right now because it's rush hour, I guess. Can't figure it out. Anyway, I don't know who put these lures. We're gonna do this um, Mewtwo raid. Probably do that one. I don't think that there's another one. No, there's just that one, so. Yeah, we're gonna do the Mewtwo raid. Catch up some of these squirtles in the nest. Hey, what's up you guys? Thanks for coming to hang out. Drop a like. YouTube is like refusing to give notifications for a lot of creators' channels. It's been worse than ever, so just make sure you guys drop a like, drop a comment. Lotad. I caught my Pokedex Lotad earlier, that was cool. I would save these low tabs, but I don't have the space. Oh. I'm at 287. I would save them for trading though. Lucky low tad. If somebody wants to come hang out in the nest with me and catch these low tabs and trade them to me, that'd be cool. All right. Weather boosted squirtle, guys. This is a weather boosted Pikachu, and it's a dual nest. This part, the squirtle nest is. And then the big part is the Pikachu nest, the big part of the other nest. Much bigger. Of course, we got a Mewtwo raid. This is EX capable, so if you guys want to roll out, that'd be cool. But I think there may be a group that comes. I was actually here earlier today playing. And uh, this is my second time I've been out here today. Let me know if the stream quality is good, guys. Let me know if, yeah. if we got snow. It says it's raining, but it's not. I mean, we did get a little bit of rain in California today, but not really much in SAC, but there was some. It's just showing it as rainy, but that's fine, because I'll, uh, I'll take the weather boost and spawns. Especially because this nest is Pikachu, and it's also a squirrel, so that's pretty cool. Weather boosted. Tyranitar has been here all day. In fact, I'm, I might be in this gym actually. Did I put Snorlax down? No. No, I couldn't get in the gym, it was full. I think that's what it was. You just out here again? Are you just out here again? Yeah. That's cool. I know, yeah, that's what I came here for. I'm waiting for it to hatch. Hopefully people show up. I might have some people on my stream who show up, so we should have enough. There you go. Oh, are you watching? 
my wife was so embarrassed that I asked you if you wanted a picture. She's like, he doesn't want a picture with you. And I was like, what are you talking about? Like, wait, maybe you did, you know? <laughs> yeah, I know, like, why wouldn't you, right? Like, she's like, don't ever do that again. <laughs> she gave me such a hard time about it. <laughs> oh, dude, the squirtle right here was uh, level 35. Woo, the squirrel right here was a big one, 690. Dude, it says yeah. it's raining, it's not raining. I know, right? <laughs> Here's low tad. It's a, it's a good opportunity to get low tad because it's really hard to get low tad. It is, I only have like two. All right, I'm gonna keep doing laps. I'll be back when it hatches. Yeah. All right. I met this kid out here earlier and um, he just, you know, said he'd like subscribe to the channel and he's seen some streams before. And uh, I asked him if he wanted a picture. Wifey gave me a hard time. She's like, don't ask him that, that's embarrassing. I'm like, that's the number one thing that they always forget whenever I meet, you know, people who are fans. They always forget to take a picture and then they tell me afterwards, I forgot to take a picture. So I always try to remember to do it. Wifey doesn't know. She has no idea. But she did give me a hard time about it. I was like, leave me alone. <laughs> I was like, you don't know. <laughs> All right, dude, it is rush hour right now, you guys, and there's so much traffic. It's ridiculous. Strong Pokemon, you should be proud. Dude, that level 35, that level 35 really wasn't bad. Okay, usually that nest only has like two or three squirtles at the most. And sometimes you'll go over there if you've been there recently enough and there won't be any squirtles because you already caught them all and they haven't respawned. So just saying, the squirtle nest is super duper tiny. And then the, um, the Pikachu nest is just absolutely gigantic. Like, absolutely huge. Oh, there's a lure here. Let me hit that. Shout out to Denim Dave, thanks for the lure, wherever he's at. Oh, you guys, for, for people who are trying to get to this park, I forgot to put the name in the title of the park. It's McKinley Park. All right, the Squirtle Nest, I don't think it has a name. I don't even know why it's labeled as a park because it's actually just the grounds of this art museum thing. So I'm not even sure why it's a park. But yeah, this is McKinley, you guys. McKinley Park, if you guys are trying to figure it out, McKinley Park. It's really just a giant Pikachu nest with weather boosting right now, which is amazing. So that, I mean, that's cool. But then um, the Squirtle nest is random. The Squirtle nest is literally not even identified on the Silph Road. But guess what? It has a red marking around it on Silph Road. So Silph Road knows that this is a labeled, it knows that the Squirtle nest is a labeled nest but it doesn't have the ability to add a nest marker to it to say what species it is. So I wasn't able to correctly label it on Silk Road to say that there's a squirtle nest right next to a Pikachu nest. So anyway, I just added a tip on the Silk Road that says there's a, there's a nest nearby that you should check where the other two gyms are. And interestingly, all the gyms are EX capable. So that gym right there, EX capable. So just saying, you could get an EX raid off of this raid. There's actually a kid there and I know he's gonna want a raid and I really wanna raid too. So if we could get some air support, uh, it'd be great. It's EX capable, high chance for a pass because nobody really raids these gyms very hard. So you do have a good chance to get a pass and um, obviously doing a good deed and helping the kid get a Mewtwo. That's always the right thing to do. So let's see if we can get him a Mewtwo. See if we can get me one too. All right, this is a salty Pikachu. Come on, Pikachu. See, I have to catch it because then it'll be here when the next round and I'll be like, ooh, Pikachu. But I already checked it, so I always catch him just to clear him. All right. I swear, if somebody asks me what I think about Brandon Tan one more time, I might throw my phone. Like, you guys, I tweeted about it and I've talked about it on the live stream. I'm done talking about that now, okay? I think everybody has the exact same opinion about that situation. It's 
far as the people who watch my channel. It just makes no sense that they took two years to do it. Even Brandon today is pretty much saying the same thing that I've been saying. I don't really care that you banned me. That's your choice, you know, but why did it take two years? I don't understand why it took two years. So they've obviously been sitting and brewing and, and steeping and thinking about this for a long time. And they find, and, and that's, it's like they're taking premeditated action against specific celebrities in the community who play the game. It's just, we've never seen anything like this in the mobile gaming world. I mean, we've seen like Clash of Clans banned uh, people in the past, you know, who were obviously hacking the game and, and getting free money in the game. Like, people aren't even hacking the game and getting free money in the game. All they're doing is trying to find rare Pokemon that are hard to find. So it's just weird, like, how they charge it. Well, I guess, I mean, he's like selling services and stuff like that, so he obviously takes it to a different level. But, um, I mean, it's not like that's any kind of activity that was detected in the game through an automated process like they do with the spoofers. They watched his social media account when into their little meeting room and had a meeting about Brandon Tan and then at the end of that meeting they said we're gonna ban this fool you know and the fact that that's the that's the way that this is all taking place is just a little strange all right there is no there's literally no more weather boosting the weather boosting is gone they've taken away the weather boosting boo that was short lived. The only reason Manoon is right here is because of the weather boosting, so now the weather boosting is gone. No! It won't let me touch the Pikachu. Oh, come on. Okay, I'm gonna have to walk past the Pikachu despawn the Pikachu, then respawn the Pikachu. This is what I told you guys on my video the other day. Um, this is like one of those weird things. I know I sound like an angsty teen when it comes to this whole spoofer conversation, but it's just because I'm so far past it now. I mean, it's just like, at this point, I feel like if people don't know how I feel about it, then you're just not paying attention because I've been super explicit about it. This Pikachu won't let me touch it, and it won't unspawn. Damn. Okay, finally it unspawned. Look at the spawn rate for Pikachu here, you guys. This nest is incredible. The nest is like super, super crazy. There's no way to continue spoofing for celebrities, you guys. I don't know, I mean like, not calling myself a celebrity, but I mean, I guess I am, but for anybody who has a social media presence of any size. Oh, collector bonus Pikachu, hey. Collector bonus Pikachu, let's go. Okay. For anybody that has a social media presence of any size, it's it's apparent now that you're gonna be continually targeted by Niantic if you wanna play this game publicly. So, I mean, what are you gonna do? They took two years to finally do it. Two years is a long time. People have been, you know, playing the way that they've been playing for that long. People have habits. It's hard to break habits, you know? They should have stopped this all a long time ago if it was important to them. But it obviously wasn't important to them because they didn't do anything about it. And now it's important to them because they're doing something about it. But it's two years later. I mean, you just can't deny the facts. Two years is two years. They did nothing for two years. Now there's a bunch of people who are basically getting punished. For the way that we played for the past two years. You know?
But yeah, as much as I would love this spoof, it's um, it's just not going to be possible unless I want to get whatever accounts I'm using banned. Like they'll go, they'll go ban this organic account. They'll go. They have proven like they banned Brandon Tan's account. He wasn't spoofing. He wasn't breaking terms of service on his account. He was breaking terms of service on all of his other accounts, and he was breaking terms of service on his, you know, Twitter. He, they basically knew he was breaking the terms of service, so they banned his account, even though he wasn't spoofing or doing anything on that account. So. <laughs> got him! Yes! You guys, we got the shiny! Oh my god, there it is! There it is! Your boy! Out here shiny hunting! Got that shiny! Oh my god, I can't believe we scored! We scored the shiny! Yes! Oh my god, yes! Yeah. All right, that's it, you guys. I'm going home. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Shiny Pikachu. Done. Oh, my God, done. I knew the cluster spawns were going to get it. There's like six Pikachus here. I'm like, it has to be shiny. It has to be a shiny. Got him. All right, should I pineapple it? No, it's my, it's my first shiny Pikachu. I can't pineapple this one. Next one, though. <laughs> Got him. Let's excellent throw it, though, just for, like, no particular reason. Just for the swagness. Alright. I'm gonna throw it the ultra. Like I have to throw it the ultra. Dude shiny. And after the weather boosting went away too, so it's non-boosted. Got him. Pikachu with the gold letters. I got shiny Pikachu. Right here, just now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, may not be great in battle, but I still like it. <laughs> Dude, there's like six Pikachus right here. It's ridiculous. Yeah, it's the, it's the best. It's Squirtle Nest where the egg is, but there's only like two Squirtles like in the whole thing. God, I got so lucky. It's a trash catch, but at least I got it. So you don't have those shinies? Man. Oh. Wow, that's so nice of him. I was going to say, what did you trade him? And he wanted one? Oh, because he had extra Larvitars because he played Community Day. Wow, that's so nice of him though, still. He gave you the one that he caught that wasn't community day, which is harder to get, you know? That's so nice. You have a good friend. Well, apparently he's an ultra friend. <laughs> I know, right? I have like 250,000. It's hard to get it. Yeah, I only have like 400,000. It's so hard to get it. It was good this year. Yeah. I hope they don't do Chicago again. I'm like, really? Chicago again? Yeah. But maybe they're going to do Chicago every year. Oh, there's a Magikarp here. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I heard it was good this year. Like, the pictures I saw, it looked really good. The year that I went was really bad. You hatched a shiny? Yeah. Dang. Oh man, you're like the luckiest person in the world. That's insane. So you have the big pink. Oh, he's got it, you guys. He's got it. That's so lit. With hyper beam. Yeah, yeah he's good. Dude, it's so sick with the egg. With it shows the egg on it, you know. That's like the best. Oh, I got, I got catch five water types. I got catch five water types. That means we could get a crabby. Can we go two shinies in a row? 
I know, it's, it's Pikachu heaven. I, I was here earlier, right? And yeah. I was hanging out, and I was like, I gotta come back here for the live stream. And then on the way over here, it was raining, and I'm just like, what the heck is happening? Like, it's boosted now? Okay, let's get this Krabby. Catch five water types. If you get that research, make sure you hang on to it because it's Krabby and it could be shiny. Oh wait, Krabby's shiny now? Yeah, Krabby's shiny now. Oh. Just of like two days ago. And if you get your seven day research, it'll be Suicune, no longer Entei. So yeah, they changed it over to water yeah, stuff. Yeah, my mom got mad when she evolved a, uh, when she did her research cast thing and she got an Entei. Does she play too? Yeah, my mom plays too. That's she awesome. She much because she works um, two jobs and they're both uh, in the medical field. Got it. So she's like, busy. Night, <laughs> Wait, is she higher level than you? Huh? Is she higher level no. than you? Ha! I'm like one level higher. See, everyone I know, they're all higher level. Their their parents are higher level, and they're like, hey, hey I'm higher level, you know? Yeah. <laughs> they like rub it in. All right, I'm going to keep walking, bro. I'll see you at the raid. Are you just here by yourself? Yeah. You can walk with me if you want. Oh, you? Yeah. You can walk with me if you want. All right. I thought you were with all those ladies doing yoga. Oh, no, no. I, <laughs> I just yeah, assumed. I took your phone because I saw your alert. Swag! Yeah. Hey, Dad. I was streaming and I instantly saw that you were at the Tony Park uh, by the. Yeah, see, you can tell because you because you recognize it. Yeah, we're gonna do it. Um, it's nice because I get the raid invaders on my stream, so at least a couple people usually come out. But I I think they'll be we'll pro people will probably go over there once it gets closer to hatch, you know. Yeah. I got kicked out of the Discord group for second now. <laughs> Dude. They kick everybody out. They kick me out too. I'm like, whatever. I don't think they're run by like very good people personally. They let people talk trash in there that's like hateful. I'm like, come on guys, like this is a community. Like you can't be, you can't allow that. <clears throat> I know, right? Yeah, every like everybody just flexes so hard. I'm like, you know that you're like a 40 year old flexing on like an eight year old, or like how old are you? Like 10 or something? 12. You're like 12. Like you're like a 40 year old flexing on like a 12 year old. Like, do you feel good about yourself? Like, yeah. come on, you know? Like, it's just like, I don't know. I, I just don't like that, you know? Yeah. The environment was a little bit toxic, but I like in the Bay Area. It's totally not like that, you know, so like nice so here. much nicer. Everybody's super nice, you know. That reminds me of the story that I Dude, have. I just made ultra friends with my homie 22 Lightning. Let's go, boy. Me and 22 ultra friends. He traded me like half of my luckies. What were you going to say? Uh, one time I was going to pick up a picture. Uh, nice. And, uh, that place is lit. On the bus ride, it was right when Malwaro came on raids, and there was a Malwaro raid, and I got into it, and the bus stopped. Once I finished it, the bus started driving, and I caught it. Wow. And it was, it was like this stop specifically for me. It was like meant to be. Yeah. Okay, let's hit the rose garden, and, and yeah, we'll loop around. At this park, it's just hitting the rose garden. And lure it? Somebody did that earlier, it, but it, I think it was this guy that I met. I, I added him as a friend because um, we were doing raids over there. But, and we, and we actually did some trades that I got on video, but none of them were lucky, but I think I might put them in the video anyway. But yeah, um, I think he put the lures. Because I came over here and this lady was sitting here and I asked if she put them because she was on her phone and she said no, but her boyfriend plays. And he, so then I went and met him, but I was like, well, why aren't you at your lures. If, I don't know, it was weird. I couldn't figure out who put them. Dude, I can't believe I got shiny Pikachu. I am so lucky. I got it, dude. It was just so random, like. I feel lucky that during the Chikorita community day, I was in uh, uh, the, the Capitol Park. Oh, that's a great place and to I be. And I got 14 shiny Dude, Chikoritas. Jesus. I went to Southside. I always go to Southside because it's just so chill. You know, and I know it has good signal, and I'll go there and like do my live stream. But yeah, um, I saw, um, 
I watched your Dioxys live stream. Oh yeah. Yeah. And I that was like that one was fun. Stream. I love when I get a rose in the rose garden, like that's the best. I want to get a shiny and then name it McKinley, and then I want to go to the rose garden downtown and get a shiny there and then name it, like, Capital. <clears throat> There's so many rose gardens in Sac, it's like I should get a shiny rose here. Dude, I thought they were playing music, like, off of a stereo, and then I was like, wait, that's live music. <laughs> that's awesome. Mm -hmm. All the stern too. I got all the shiny ones except for uh, sun cream. I got shiny uh, Natu and uh, Pineco. Dude, I couldn't get it. It was too hard for me. Did you get any of them? Um, no, I didn't. No, I got the Natu. On that was when I was still spoofing, and then that account got banned, so I don't have it. <laughs> Dude, you got yeah. shiny foratress! Yeah, I was in, I was in uh, San Francisco doing That's it. so lit. I got that, and then uh, right at the edge of Pier 39, it, it, it was right when the event started, uh, I got this magnificent thing. And it was right when the week started, and uh, the Natu looked normal, but there were sparkles all around it. And I got really confused. Cause it's like orange, right? Yeah, but it was it was still like red, but it had sparkles all over it. So I caught it, and then it was normal. I was like, that's really strange. I turned off my phone, I reset it, and then it was orange. <laughs> what? <laughs> You're like, uh, okay. <laughs> uh, I got Bulbasaur from one of the researches. Um, which is the best way? To... Just to get the most Pikachu spawns. Um... I was staying on the trail. Like on the sidewalk when I was here earlier, but you probably know better than I do. Like this is like my home base for Pokemon. I know, right? Yeah, I'm like, you said you live here. I'm going to trust whatever you say. <laughs> well, usually the best place is to go for grass type. Oh, there's a picture. Best place to go Pick for grass type. Pokemon would be in the rose garden. Um, yeah, okay. I did find a squirt, shiny squirt in it. But I got the three normal ones. Where'd you go? But, oh, Union Square. Yeah. Union Square is good. Were you there the whole time? Yeah, I was you got there six? for a little bit of the time. And then I went to, uh, what was that? I don't remember the tower, but I went to the tower area. I don't have a two big of that. That's um, not good for a couple minutes. Like downtown? It was downtown San Francisco, yeah. Oh, San Francisco. Oh, Coit Tower. Yeah, yeah. Coit Tower. It's, it's up high on the hill. It's like a big, tall, skinny yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's actually, there's such good spawns there and there's a couple of clusters that are like really like massive cluster spawns. And um, I got Togetic there like probably a hundred times, like literally on my smoke streams. There'd be Togetic up there like every single day. Yeah, my friend uh, used to, uh, my friend uh, spoofed back like, I think during the safari zone with uh, where Tropius, Oh yeah. Everywhere. And he got me one. He nice! Dude, that's the fun thing about trading spoofers. I'm like, haha, I got them all. <laughs> yeah. I traded a lucky beldum. That was pretty good. I think it was spoofed though, so I'm like, well, I think I have a spoof lucky beldum. Oh well. <laughs> there was this old YouTube channel I used to watch that had spoofing videos. And I just to watch I just like to watch them just to see what cool Pokemon they got. Yeah, right, exactly. Then, exactly. But then one day, uh not on this account, it was on a different account that I made specifically for spoofing on my iPad. And I was playing it, and I, I found three shiny uh, Magikarp. And then later, I tried Lit. to teleport to a Tyranitar, and I forgot that I had to teleport back home on the pack I was using, and it got banned. No! You were like, rip. Yeah, but I got a, uh, right next to Pier 39, I got a shiny uh, magic art, so pretty good. Am I missing any Pikachu's right now? I don't know. I'm not really looking at It gave me power up a Pokemon five times, twice in a row, which is great because it's Bulbasaur. So I'm doing it again. 
powering up my lucky Machamp. Okay, no, no Pikachu's. You're good. I was so happy. I got during the Pikachu for Mewtwo. I got two of them. And then I remember when having a Mewtwo was such like a big deal. Yeah. Like, I got Mewtwo. I was invited. Like, it was cool. You got them early on. Yeah. Yeah, it was hard to I got do. I of them, and both of them were at the same gym. Uh, at this park, uh, the gym that has the legendary rig right now. Oh yeah. Um, my mom got me a school for the first one. And it was the first day of the Halloween event. You're lucky. Because <laughs> like, your mom plays. <laughs> so she's like, down. My mom said, oh, that's really hard to get. I'll get you out of school. She's like, we're canceling school. Let's go. It was 12 o'clock. And I was like, really, like, my mom didn't tell me for sure I was going to get out. Because Just I don't say what school you go to, all right? <laughs> Just don't say what school you go to, all right? <laughs> I don't know who watches. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> so we, I got out. And I went to that. She busted you out, dude. Yeah, I got an early decision. That's lit. And then right after that, right after the raid, that's when the Halloween Pokemon started spawning. Oh, yeah? Yeah, and it was lunchtime in my school. And my friend messaged me, the first Pokemon he clicked was a shiny Sableye. Lucky. And I only got a single shiny one of the Halloween Pokemon. I got Sableye during that event. Yeah. We got another Squirt Man. Got a double, double snubble over here. Double snubble. Double snubba. I am not catching this stupid snubble. We're gonna walk to the Squirtle. Get across. There. <clears throat> Are you playing Go? Probably not. Yeah, this, this nest is like unbelievable. I got on um, Silk Road to see if there was a crabby nest anywhere and like nobody uses that anymore because nothing's labeled, but this was labeled and I was like, oh, Pikachu nest. Like I could do that because McKinley's a good park as far as like spawn rate goes. So, but then I came over and I was just walking over here and I was just like, how the heck am I getting two squirtles? Like you just don't get two squirtles, you know? And then I was like, wait, it's a squirtle nest. Unless like it has Francisco. to be. I know, right? Yeah, exactly. Unless you're in San Francisco. We got a squirtle right here. No, 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 squirt man. Squirt man. <laughs> we got, oh, there's another Squirtle. Got six minutes on this raid. I bet if we do like one lap around this. Yeah. It'll waste all the time and then we'll get all the squirtles. I can't tell if there's another squirtle or if this one that I'm catching is the one that was on the nearby. Uh, I actually did fantastic and I thought I wasn't doing well, but I got like 11 by the end of the day. And I was like, you know, that's pretty darn good. I'm happy with that. But they're mostly for trades. Dang. Some people didn't do well. And then, because we 
it used to always go here. I only got one shiny Bulbasaur here, but then we just we decided next time we're doing uh, next community day, we're just gonna go to Capital. We're gonna go to the Capital because it, yeah. it just has great fun. That's where everybody goes, and I mean, you just get a ton. Like you get so many spawns. So yeah, I would go there, but it's a little bit too lit for me. I like that it's more chill. Yeah. Like over in Southside, I'll just chill and walk my laps, and and there's a ton of Poke Stops. So. Yeah. Plus it's EX gyms and everybody gets so stoked because there's gyms and raids nearby at Capitol. And I'm like, you guys, it's community day. Why are you raiding? Like, stop raiding. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's only three. The community day. I remember right after we went to uh, Old Sack and we had lunch at Willie's. And uh, the second we got at Willie's and we are about to get lunch, uh, it was that nut did okay. Everyone. Oh yeah, after community day. <laughs> you guys are hilarious. They all turned into Ditto. A couple of mine turned into Chikorita. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. A couple of mine yeah, did too. People saw Kecleon because they didn't update their game. Is that what? People saw Kecleon and everybody thought their game wasn't updated. But then when they went there, was there Kecleon? Because um, I saw pictures of it, but they looked fake. Uh, but I posted them anyway. <laughs> yeah, they were. Uh, they were really showing up, but. People couldn't touch them. They were doing the same thing. They would come into either Ditto or the night. Weird. <coughs> Very weird. Yeah. Yeah, that was kind of fun. I used that as an opportunity to get um, Lucky Ditto because I had so many Dittos. I was trading them, trading oh, yeah. them, trading them. I, got, I think I got like a couple of Lucky Dittos. Yeah, you're lucky because I don't consider that to be an easy one to get. I, I consider that to be hard. Yeah. Oh my God, you must trade a lot. Yeah, me and my friend. Right after, uh, right after um, the Hello Day, uh, I was spending the night at his house, and we just traded like a lot of the night. We were just trading and trading. Uh, I think one of the best luckies I have though is I have a lucky Executor, a lucky Dragonite, nice. lucky Dragonite, lucky Lapras. Lit. Lapras is lit. And then the favorite lucky that I have is right when uh, the next gen comes out, so I can evolve it. Porygon too, dude, you're really lucky. Yeah, I got all these luckies. That's rare. Oh man, he's got a lot of luckies, you guys. He's, I, I think he's got more than me. I got one, one, one. Lucky Feebas. He's number one. Uh, how did we do? Two and a half minutes. Yeah, we did pretty good. All right, you guys, I'm gonna give you raid cords so we don't have to stand at this raid for like 20 minutes trying to beat it. So, um, come on down. Help me and the little homie catch a Mewtwo. All right. There's your raid cords. Did somebody put them? Thank you. Yes, those are the cords. Joel has already got the cords. Thank you. The cords that my mod and sponsor is putting. Thank you, Joel. Thanks for watching the stream too, bro. Uh, those are the correct cords, you guys. So, yeah, if you guys want to get in the X raid pass, it's a good opportunity. Plus, it's a Mewtwo, so it's not a bad way to go. Tier 5 raid. EX capable very high chance for a pass and i wouldn't just say that it really is a high chance we're probably going to get past this here i'll probably see the little homie again when we get our ex raids now the fun thing is um me and my wife that you met earlier i had her do one gym and then i did the other gym because we don't do that many raids so i'm hoping that she gets a pass on the one gym and can invite me and then i get a pass on the other gym and i can invite her yeah. and then as long as they're not at exactly the same time we should be good at the same time, you guys would have to like not invite each other and just go. Yeah, not invite each other and then each go and then invite each other and then go with different groups or something like that. But I'm hoping it, it's a way to get two EX raid passes out of one, yeah. you know. But from what I understand, you can get as many as you want. Somebody was posting on Twitter that as long as you don't have one EX raid pass, you can get invited. So you just have to use your EX raid pass and then get invited to the next one, use that one. And then if you have more ultra friends who can invite you, apparently they can continue you inviting you. Invite you. Yeah, it has to be ultra friends. Uh -huh. And then <clears throat> I'm not sure if you can get invited to the same EX raid twice. That's what I don't know. Like if you could get a pass to the same EX raid, like let's say me and you both get an EX pass here and then we both come and do the raid and then we use our invite on each other and then we do the raid twice, you know, and get a way to do the raid twice. So, yeah, that's what I don't know yet. 
wasn't there like a special move set for the people that did uh, the x rays and got Mewtwo? Mm hmm. What was it? Uh, Shadow Ball. Oh, I didn't get that. Are you sure? Well, my Mewtwo, my Mewtwo's only have Hyper Beam and Ice Beam. So Hyper Beam is the other exclusive move, but it's like the somewhat useless one. But eventually it will be useful. There'll be some raid boss that it's good against, yeah. right? So hang on to that. And it's exclusive technically, so it could be useful for trading purposes too. So don't yeah. change it. But um, all mine that had Hyper Beam, I changed to Shadow Ball. But that was before the time limit and they changed the, you can't do it anymore. You can't move change it. So never move change that one basically. It's a collector. But you could trade it. Somebody might trade it to you for a Shadow Ball if they had an extra Shadow Ball and wanted to get rid of it because it's exclusive. Yeah. How, how were you supposed to get Shadow Ball? Uh, you got them from the EX Raid Pass system. Those uh -huh. ones came with Shadow Ball or Focus Blast or Psychic or Hyper Beam. But you could move change them to Shadow Ball anytime you wanted. But now that move is antiquated. So if I do it, I, I won't get it? Yeah, you won't get it. That's why I said, yeah, make sure you don't move change that one. Because it'll just go to the current move set. Hey! What do you need, Mr. Mime? Oh, Meow, we probably don't need that. No, I have uh, attached to Mr. Mime, and I and I have a Kangaskhan. And I, have, and I remember getting uh, what's a uh, Farfetch during the Farfetch uh, hour thing. Nice. When Farfetch came out in America for like a couple hours. All right, I went in. There's another two in. Oh, now we got four. I think with you it'll be five. Yeah, I, I used my daily from yesterday, and yeah, it gave me another one, and I was like, "Let's go, another one. I'll take it." <laughs> Did you have the longest cord? That's like, <laughs> yeah, it's like five feet long. <laughs> Yeah. I used my shiny Moltres earlier to beat the Executor. I felt like a beast. I didn't know Sky Attack is actually super effective. I'm just gonna use the Pokemon they recommend. Yeah, me too. I think we'll be fine. We have Aiden here, so yeah, we'll we'll be good. I'm actually gonna bring. Oh yes, this is a red gym too. Team Valor. I got a Bite and Crunch um, Gyarados I'm gonna bring. I think I got Bite Crunch Tyranitar. So, that'll do. Nine in the raid, thanks whoever's in the raid. I don't know if that's real people or if that's all from my stream, but thanks you guys. EX capable raid and it really is a high chance for a pass. This particular gym is a high chance because there's so many people raiding it, but the um, the EX gyms now, they give it to every eligible player. So as long as you're you won't get a pass as if you just don't raid at all for like the whole week at any EX eligible gyms, you know? It's pretty much a guaranteed pass just by raiding at the right gyms. Oh, he's got Thunderbolt. He wiped out my Gyarados in one hit. <laughs> Rip. We're doing good damage. Yeah. Did you get a Deoxys pass? No. Dang. You probably get one from this. I would almost guarantee it. Or if you did a raid over in the other part of the park, you might get one. Yeah, I did that one. The one by the pond? Yeah, I did that one too. There was another executor right next to it, and I had Wifey do that one, so I'm hoping to get both. She doesn't raid though, so she should get that one. I think she will. No. People speculated that for a long time, but no. A lot of people. 
So they only do EX Raid Pass distribution like one time a week and it happens at the exact same time for everybody. So usually the way that I know it is when people start posting about it on Twitter that they got passes and then I'll go check my account and see if I got one. Because lately they don't seem to give notifications for some reason. They used to give notifications on the passes but I never get them, you know I get passes. But yeah. Basically, you'll just open up your account and it'll probably lag for a little while or show you the latest news or do something dumb because it's just like doing a million things when you open now. But then after it gets through all that, it should pop up the pass over the top of your screen. When did they give out passes last week? Um, it's a really good question. I actually don't know. Maybe my stream knows. If you guys know on the stream, I don't remember. I think it's like eight days before the raid or something like that. But yeah, I don't remember. Yeah. <laughs> Plus, I have no idea what I'm going to be doing on that day. It's so far away. I'm like, well, like, I could see if it was like a two day range or like a whole day or something like that where I could go anytime I want. Well, lately they've been at better times. Like, my last one was at 6 p.m., and, like, that's totally doable, you know? And that's what time I raid. Like, I usually raid about this time, you know, later in the evening. So it kind of makes no sense to give people passwords at times that they don't even raid, or, like, times when you have school and stuff like that. It's like, come on, seriously? Yeah. Hey, we got him. Yeah. Swag. What's his moveset? It's got Ice Beam, Thunderbolt, Psychic... I believe that's it. No, maybe he's got one more that I'm not thinking of. That is unfortunately not good. You're looking for 2275. I'm just about to find out. 2207, I did worse than you. <laughs> Rip. Yeah, he really is easy. So you're good, you don't need me to throw your balls or anything? I'll throw excellent if you want me to. Usually I catch him on like the like the the worst throw you can even I know, right? Yeah. I'll throw excellence the whole time and then catch him on a nice throw. Yeah, like I can throw excellence and then I throw that one ball that I wanted to get an excellent. It doesn't even say anything, and then I catch it, and I'm like, At least you can get an excellent on a Mewtwo. Some people can't even do it still. And it's like, dude, you've got to get excellent on Mewtwo. You have to. It's the only way. There's almost no catch rate at all if you don't get an excellent throw. Uh, you, you could do that on Mewtwo easily, but I don't know if I would risk it. <laughs> Although that one's so trash. We could trade our Mewtwo's if you want. First trade, uh, you're like, ah. <laughs> You don't have that many. I don't either. <clears throat> I mean, I'd be fine with trading. And I would be happy to trade it because then I can say that I traded with the YouTube. Yeah. Because then I would have to trade it. If it got lucky, it'd be lit. And your first trade with a new friend is more likely to be lucky. So I've been trying to make those ones like my really best stuff that I could possibly I mean, trade. Like really cool. I know, right? And, well, it's going to be hard to get. It's going to be really hard to get. Yeah. I'm trying to get a lucky of every species. So, yeah. Hopefully, if you do trade it, the CP would go up higher. If it... I mean, if it gets lucky, it should go higher. I caught mine, yeah, boy. It's such trash. Strong Pokemon. Stats indicate that it'll get the job done. Oh, that's terrible. Double extra small. All right. I got three balls left. You got this? Let's see. He's getting hits over here. I'm just using these ones. Yeah, I got a grape. That's better over than here. when I thought it was going to get a nothing. <laughs> Dude, he's not going down. You want to throw out the last ball? All right, I'll throw your last ball. <clears throat> We're going to throw the homies last ball and see if we can catch him. I'm going to go silver pine out for the swag. Okay. It's the only way. I actually catch a lot of them on silver pine out. Weirdly. Oh, I thought that would be an excellent. 
At least I hit. Sometimes I'll grab people's phone oh. and my first throw, I just, the ball goes on the ground and I'm like, no. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I just assumed you were going to catch it. Dang. Dude, there's squirtles. There are so many squirtles. You probably already checked those because I don't have them. Oh, well, rip. I usually rip. catch wild Pokemon. Uh, that can be shiny. I just click them to see if they are shiny unless I don't have enough candy. And then don't get them. Yeah. Yeah, I do the same thing. Well, you going to go home? Yeah, probably. Cool, man. Good raid. Too bad you didn't catch a Mewtwo. I would have traded it. Um, you want to do a Mewtwo trade? Yeah, you want to? I'm down if you got one to if you got one to burn. Uh, I don't want to trade my 2,879 one. No, no. Don't but trade I'll me trade anything good. Anything trash. Uh, 2235. Okay. Um, I'll show you my friend code so you don't get a million friend requests. Okay. Uh, my QR code. But I'm gonna get a million friend requests. Done skis. All right, nice. Okay. If we stay friends, I'll, I'll make sure to send you a, a gift. I'm not removing anybody, so okay. yeah. I haven't added anybody from the live stream. I haven't added anybody from the channel, pretty much. I'm just adding people I meet in real life, mostly around Sacramento, because we have the most likelihood to trade, you know? It's like, there's no point unless people can trade with me. Like, I do have one friend who spoofs, and he spoofs to me and trades with me on live stream sometimes, and that's cool. You know, that's fun. I can't find you. Okay, hold on. Hold on, oh, I wait, gotta... To yeah. The, I forgot about that. I know, right? It's weird, too, because it's like, we... Like, I gave you the code, but I still have to accept it. It's, yeah, so, it's weird, cool you know? <laughs> you should just automatically be able to accept it. Okay, you're Elijah Spartan, 69. That's pretty swag, dude. Oh, you got the purple. Your I buddy the is the purple. purple. That's so lit. There you are. Organic I'm organic Jono now. I don't spoof anymore because they ban me. <laughs> what was your old account name? Uh, Jono YT. I wish I would have made this one organic Jono YT, but I just I didn't think of it at the time, and I made it organic Jono. Okay. Oh, I okay, I, I know I got one I can burn if it's not the one I just got but I think the one I just got is probably the one I'll give you This is my friendship level is high enough to complete the Oh, oh wait, wait, we got to trade a gift. We got to trade a gift uh, Oh, because we're not even anything yeah. yet. Just trade me like Krabby or something real quick. Oh, no, 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 don't, don't, don't because our first trade has more chance to be lucky. So cancel the trade. I'm gonna, did you send me a gift? I sent you a gift. Okay, I'm gonna open it. We have then to we'll become be... friends at all in order to trade. We haven't even hit great friends yet. Okay, yeah. I'll, I'll open your yeah, I'm if you sure. open mine, either way. Oh yeah, I, I sent you one, yeah. <laughs> I got that in Oakland. Ooh, I got an egg. Nice! Dude, I wish I would tell you who you got the egg from. Because sometimes I'll actually want yeah. to like be like, oh, I got this from this person, so this is that person. You know, and I'll name it after them. I'm going to go ahead and say that you're higher level than me. I think I'm, I'm only 32. Yeah, I'm 34. Hey, I'm you beat me. Say that you're higher level because you have <laughs> it before. It's true. I mean, that, that is kind of fair. <laughs> okay, now we can trade it. Okay, yeah. Bye, Mewtwo. You'll be missed. Okay, is yours? It's not a very good one, right? Hey, ours is the same one. 224, 2024. Okay, as long as, as, long as it's not it's particularly good IVs. Yeah, but we both have the 2024. All right. Well, it goes to the same CP. You know you can check the IVs on the trade screen now, right? Oh really? Before when it first pulls the Pokemon up, when you've selected it, at the bottom right there's a button, and you can oh. you can check the IVs and you can uh, unstar it if it has a star, which is pretty lit too. How it, how ahead is yours? Just a little bit. Uh, oh no, yours is ahead. Yours was ahead. Dang. Oh no, look. <gasps> May not be great in battle. Is yours bad? Oh no, rip. Attack. That's it. You'll never be forgotten, Mewtwo. Well, I'm happy that I have a Mewtwo that says that you, it's been traded by. Hey, you know, we could always do another one later. Yeah. <clears throat> you want to trade something else? Um, I only have, like, commons, but... Okay. What do you want to trade? Okay, so what I need is lucky commons of every species, so the lowest evolution, and then so I can evolve it to get lucky of every evolution. So, like, Slowpoke, like, I need the stupidest stuff, like Squirtle, you know. If you got, actually, if you got Meowth, I'll take a Meowth in a heartbeat. I can give you... Yes, uh, I have a 303 now. Oh, I'll take it. Yeah. You want Squirtle? I got a big old Squirtle. Level yeah, 35. Sure. He's a big boy. All right. Yeah, I've been trying to get Lucky Meowth. So, stuff that's so common, but like Gen 1, is you don't see him that often. Yeah. So it's like, where, when am I going to get Lucky Meowth? I probably won't. So. It's a good thing that they did the, the Kanto. 
It was a great oh, event. It was fa- and it was long. It was a really not long. Not that event. many people found. Oh, it's not, not lucky. No luck. Not my first trade with my friend was Chansey. But and it people was lucky. that would join now, they would never get that many Pokemon no. added to their Pokedex. And some people are speculating that after Gen Four launches, there won't be like Gen they, One. They're like they're not gonna. Well, I think after, when Gen Four started, I think they might have like Gen One because uh, the yeah. Pokemon from Gen One that turn into Gen Four, mm. like yeah, Rhyhorn, and they might have a specific thing for those kind of Pokemon, like Rhyhorn, Porygon. Yeah, those, gonna show up for Valentine's Day, those have all been in raids too. I don't know if you noticed that, but those have been like all the raids. Yeah. All right, man. I'm gonna keep walking. Okay. Good well, trades. I have to go home. All right. <laughs> but, yeah. We got Pikachu nearby. I can't believe I got so lucky. Is that your shiny Pikachu? <laughs> yeah, I just got it. Oh man, I'm so happy. Ah, uh, can't even believe it. I just, like, I spent probably over a week in the Magikarp nest, and I never got a shiny there, and I was just so bummed. I was like, dude, I can't believe I actually shiny hunted that much and didn't get the shiny. I usually get it if I spend that much time, you know? And it was just strange that it didn't happen. But then, um, like this one, this is my first day in this nest and I already popped one off, so I feel pretty good about that. I know this isn't really related to Pokemon Go, but what tier are you in Fortnite? Um, good question. Because I know, I know you live stream. I know you live stream right in the beginning of season six. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I don't know, Fortnite doesn't get any views. It makes me so sad because everybody watches Fortnite, but they all just watch the bigger guys, I guess. Yeah. But they're all really good too. I mean, when I watch them, I'm like, dang, these guys are good. Like, they're so much better. So. I play on PS4. Oh yeah? Are you pretty good? Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty good. A little bit. If you can carry me, I'll add you. <laughs> well, I'm better on the Nintendo Switch because not many people, not trying to be mean to the people on the Nintendo Switch. Oh no, it's bad, yeah. But people bad. on the Nintendo Switch are more like five year olds. It's very difficult because to Nintendo control. Because the Nintendo Switch is mainly a kid's console as the PS4 and the PC and all that stuff. They're yeah. made for like more adults and older people. Wider audience so for less sure. There's people that are better on the on the Switch. Like the first day of season six, I got like four wins. Have you played on a Switch before? Yeah. It's so bad. Like it's it's, it's difficult. It's not that hard. I have a pro controller. Oh so well, it's a yeah. Easier. If you have a controller, that would probably make it easier. Yeah. yeah. The ones actually playing with the with the bindings, I'm like rip. <laughs> yeah. It's it's as bad as mobile basically. But I mean, it's fun when you can't play any other way and you just want to play so I like it for that like I have it on my tablet but I never really play I'll just play yeah. like something else the only reason I don't play mobile that often is because no matter what internet connection I have it's always lagging it's always glitching my filter's always free even on Wi-Fi uh, I have unlimited data Wi-Fi is the way to go I know I use Wi-Fi I use unlimited data but almost basically all the time it always lags Unless I'm playing like Yeah. Oh, that's weird. Huh. Oh, because it has to connect everybody else. Yeah. That kind of does make sense. Yeah. 22, if you want to trade, I'm in the lobby, bro. I'm always down to trade. I got too much stuff I need to get rid of. Who else is here? Uh, 22 Lightning is this guy that watches my stream. And he, um, he doesn't spoof, but he only spoofs to come over and trade with me. Which, 22, I don't even know if we can trade on the stream anymore, bro. I don't want you to get banned, homie. So I'm worried about that stuff now. 22, we might have to trade on the low or something like that. 22, I'm worried for you, fam. I don't know, fam. Like, this whole TOS thing is getting out of control. Yeah, I, I got a red warning once because I was playing Pokemon Go and I was in Sacramento. And then I never shut down the app. I just turned off my phone and then I turned it on and put in San Francisco. And it gave me a red warning. It's so stupid. It's like, you guys, like, you're getting false positives all over the place, you know? Yeah, one of my friends, uh, my mom's uh, friend, got banned because uh, he his job is traveling. So he could be in Japan one day. And then, yeah. Like, I know a lot of people who got banned because of later, stuff like that. 
a uh, day or two later, he's in Tokyo. A day or two later, he's in America. That was the most common story I heard for people getting banned early on. And especially because we live so adjacent to, you know, Bay Area. Like, people do a lot of international travel there. There's an international hub. The, the, you know, the planes go in and out of there. So a lot of people live there because of the access to travel. So it's just very common. And yeah. it, I just couldn't believe that they were banning people who have flights. Like, like, I'll show you the receipt from my flight, you know? Like, why am I banned? It makes no sense. And they're just like, nope, don't care. So, my friend's trading me here across right now. He lives in Florida. So he's getting, he's got all these from Tampa. I'm like, that's uh, lit. Yeah. Uh, I think the hardest, um, uh, Pokemon I got that was recently was Corsola. Because we were, hard, in the, yeah. we were in the airport, uh, down in, uh, San Diego. Like, it's the very bottom edge of... You got it in San Diego? San Diego? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I've been to the airport in San Diego. I didn't know you could get Corsola there. Yeah, no. But I had wow. my, uh, incense on. And we were so right next to, uh, water. Like, I'm pretty sure we're next to a river or something. Like that. Huh. Oh, no, the, the airport's right next to, like... It's kind of like a bay, but kind of like the ocean. Yeah. But yeah, there's water right there. But yeah, it was, it's on the water. water. Yeah. And a corsola just showed up, and I clicked it the second we were sitting down in the airplane, <laughs> and I caught it. And uh, like a couple minutes after we caught it, we started we were flying. Like, okay. You're lucky. Yeah. You're very lucky. Actually, I just flew through San Diego um, like a few months ago when I was coming back from the trip to CFSU ATL in Florida, and. Um, um, I wa that's one of the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's he's great. I love him. Uh, I got to go visit him. I did a video like with him in it. It was actually pretty good. Um, I got a lot of views. It actually got a ton of views. <clears throat> yeah, I, I flew all the way down there to New he's Orleans. He's actually the person. That's the reason why I spoofed on that one account. Right? He showed me. The, no, he didn't personally. He showed, showed you me. the way. He showed me the way. He personally showed you the he way. <laughs> it was like, it was his. I'm gonna snap him right now. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna snap. No, wait. I can't. Dang it. Because I can't post a video while my thing is going. Oh. I'm going to be like, this homie right here, you showed him the way. <laughs> you showed me back when it was just generation one. And I was so happy. Even though they ran away from me, I was so happy when I had a Lapras show up. I was so happy when I Even saw a Even though they ran. <laughs> I, I love so it. I was so happy when I saw a Lapras and a Charizard on my journal saying that it ran away. I'm like, look oh, what I saw at school. Somebody snap FSU and tell him to come watch the stream right now. He watches my stream a lot, actually. That's pretty cool. Yeah, he's a good guy. He's a really good guy. Just a couple minutes ago when we were walking, I got a uh, alert. Uh, he's streaming. Oh, yeah? He's yeah. been streaming at the same time as me, which I hate, but I think that his schedule changed and this is his good time now. And I'm like, dang it, because we used to not stream at the same time and we both, you know, have kind of the same audience. But now I'm playing organic, so I don't think we have... I think he's probably gonna get all the spoofers yeah. and I'll get everybody else, you know, and that's fine, I don't care. I saw, every, I saw a couple people in your, uh, in your thing saying, why you no spoof anymore? I know, I know. I mean, they keep on banning me. I don't want to play level 10 accounts, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I don't want to be sitting around playing. Like, I want to have an account that's super beast and I play it all the time and that's my account. And if they're gonna be, like, harassing me because I want to spoof, on my channel then i won't spoof on my channel that's fine but they better not come up with something else to harass me about you know yeah. they're like oh you're you're i don't know like they're gonna come up with some other thing and i'm just like you guys okay. Okay. all right man it's getting dark you gotta go home <laughs> yeah. i got a pikachu over here i'm gonna bounce okay. see you bro I thought you were walking home this whole time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. If I got two shiny Pikachus, I swear. Hey, is Jessica here? What's up, Jessica? See, bro. I met that kid earlier today at the park. He was just walking around playing Pokemon. 
I'm like, wait, how old are you? And you play Pokemon still? Whoa, but his parents still play, so that kind of makes sense. Because you gotta have parents that play so you can get a car, you know, to go to the good spots. But he lives next to a good park too, so. I mean, that, that obviously helps. <clears throat> A random venom moth spawn. That's. I haven't seen those guys in a while. Now that's a Gen 1 Pokemon that I didn't see the entire Gen 1 event. What's up with that? I didn't see a single venom moth that whole event. Not one. It's a helicopter. Super loud. Wifey said that she would be here after her yoga. This creepy lady just photographed me and I'm like, why are you photographing me, creepy lady? <laughs> It was really obvious too. Oh, maybe she was taking a selfie though. Maybe she was taking a selfie. But no, it looked like she was photographing me. Awkward. She's just like riding her bike with her daughter, photographing me for whatever reason, I guess. Maybe she was taking a selfie. <clears throat> oh, she's coming back again. If she photographs me again, then I know it. <laughs> he said, the only reason I got caught spoofing is because I got snitched on. <laughs> spoofing snitchers. <laughs> no, that wasn't it. I mean, I mean, like, I snitched on myself. Like, I'm live streaming my spoofing gameplay. Like, I didn't need anyone to snitch. <laughs> I'm live streaming it. Like, they can find it pretty easily. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they knew that I was spoofing. Okay, let's see if I can get shiny number two. This is where I caught the shiny. I had to contain myself. There's so many people, I didn't want to look like a weirdo freaking out. <laughs> it was pretty awesome. Uh, wifey is supposed to come pick me up at some point. I thought I saw my car, but then I, it wasn't my car, so... Yeah. 
I gotta watch out for her. Every time I come walk, I get really hungry. So. Yeah, from what I understand, they still can't detect Android spoofing. They've only made a lot of progress in preventing Android spoofing, making it to where you just can't spoof on Android. Most people can't on their device, but there's some devices that still can. Like a Galaxy, Samsung Galaxy Tab S2 is actually one of the devices that can still spoof very consistently, but, um, which is the tablet that I have, and I could continue to spoof if I wanted to just get banned over and over again. So if I didn't mind getting banned, like, nonstop, I'd just be like, sure, I'll spoof all day long. But <clears throat> I do mind wasting my time getting banned. I don't like that. That is boring to me. So, I haven't been doing that. Jessica! Jessica is here. Yo, is Avoli here? Avoli! He said then get something to eat. Duh. I already ate. That's the thing, Avoli. My metabolism is so fast. I already ate a full meal. And now I want another one. This is, this is what my body does to me. It's like, oh, you ate food? I've already burned all that food and taken very little energy from it. Now give me more. I'm like, uh, body, like, I beg you, like, please. <laughs> but I'm not one of those people who will, like, drink energy drinks or anything like that. The closest thing I'll come to that is, like, putting sugar in my coffee in the morning, which I do pretty much every morning. I don't always drink sugar in my coffee, but most of the time I do. <clears throat> but I don't feel too bad about that, because it's in moderation. But, yeah, like energy drinks and stuff. I may be a little bit tired right now, and they, they might make me feel less tired for a short time, but it's not worth the cost that it takes on your body for me, so. I just stick to water and eating food. If I need energy, I just eat food. But then I eat food and go for a walk and it's all gone. And then I want more food, more. So when I get home, I am gonna make a snack. Gonna make a really good snack. When I get home. And it's gonna be delicious. Hey, he gave, he said, hey, Jono, it's me, the kid from the park. Hey, bro, thank you. I'm gonna mod that kid. Thank you, bro. Everybody subscribe his channel. He's gonna be famous one day. He'll be more famous than me. Subscribe his channel. Hey, thanks for the donation, bro. I appreciate it. I'm trying to find wifey out here, but I don't even know if she's back from her yoga yet. Those girls were playing Johnny Cash. That was pretty lit. See if we can snag another shiny Pikachu before we bounce. Yeah. Chloe's here, yo Chloe. Am I gonna go to Safari Zone, Taiwan? Yeah, I already booked my flight. I'm on my way, guys. <clears throat> no, of course not. I'm joking. I'm not going, you guys. I'm not gonna go to any Pokemon Go events. They lost their chance. All right, if they wanted my money, they should have done a good event in 2016. Or they shouldn't have had an event in 2016 if they couldn't pull it off. But I'm not gonna spend my money to go to more of their events. Besides, the San Jose event was bad. Everybody who was there said it was bad. Which is like, when the organic players even say your event is bad, like, you know your event is bad. 
So, and all my organic players uh, who are friends of mine who went there said it was bad. And I don't know about you guys, but I don't like wasting my time. Is that critical capture just now? The uh, time and gas money to get over to San Jose for what was generally considered a bad event. I'm like, no thanks. I almost went to that too. I'm glad I watched some live streams first just to make sure. Since we got Rosalia over here. Take an ultra ball. That's messed up. I'm basically just wasting my ultra balls, but ultra balls aren't as useful in the game as they used to be. <coughs> like, remember when Gen 1 was out? You could actually catch Blastoise. You could actually catch Dragonite in the wild, which you still can. But like Gen 3, you can't catch a wild slacking. You could catch a Vigoroth with a Great Ball, you know? You don't really need an Ultra Ball for that. You could catch a Metang or a Beldum with a Great Ball. You don't really need an Ultra Ball for that. They have pretty good catch rate. So, the one that would be hard to get would be a Metagross, but you can't catch that in the wild. So, it's like, why did they even, like, I don't know. But that is a little bit more true to the original Pokemon, though, which I like. You couldn't get certain Pokemon in the wild. They just weren't available. You had to get them through other methods like evolution and trading. So, I don't really mind that too much. It adds more of a challenge to the game and makes you use more of the features. Let's see if we can get a Squirtle over here, even though it says that there isn't one. But it doesn't show any Pikachus either. And I forgot to put an egg on. Smart. I've been walking this whole time. No egg. Let's Power up a Pokemon five times. I like the ones that make you power up and they give you a Pokemon as the reward. I'll always do that. This one could be a shiny Bulbasaur, I believe. No shine. No squirtles over here. Maybe we'll get one on the gym though. Gyms they don't show Pokemons on gyms, or they don't show Pokemons. So maybe we'll get one off the gym. Yeah. Let's see.
Is Avoli still watching? Avoli, I got shiny Pikachu. I don't know if you saw it, but I got it. Squirtle's rib. Hmm. It's not a very good spawn rate for that nest, but there are squirtles there every so often. How do I give this man some money? Let's click on that dollar sign. You might have to get on a computer if you're serious. Best way to do it's from a laptop. That's how I make all my stream donations. <clears throat> Got a Whalmer. Pretty long walk tonight. How long have we been streaming for? Hour and a half, not bad. It's nice to get a shiny within a reasonable amount of time. Hour and a half isn't too bad, especially with high spawn rate. There's a lot of good shiny checks in this nest. That's for sure. Let's see. Pikachu all around the edge of the nest, all on the inside. Very good nest. Fantastic spawn rate.
Yo, Eddie, much love, you crazy. 91% deoxys as well, lol. Fun hanging out with you. Eddie, my dude, thank you. Yo, we did get the 91 deoxys. We did, perfect attack. Look at that, 91 attack, blown away. I did get the 91, thanks for reminding me. I didn't even battle it yet. I don't even know if it's good. I heard it's a glass cannon. You probably have to dodge if you want to use it. Yo, he dropped a five. Thank you, bro. Eddie, thank you, bro. Getting some donations for the organic squad. Yo, did you guys see that? There's a Jolteon right there. Jolteon in the park if you guys are trying to snag that. How did it not show me the Jolteon this entire time on the nearby? It's still not on the nearby. It's literally right under a Pokestop. They're like, you don't want to know about Jolteon. Like, no, I, I would really like to know about Jolteon, trust. Trust. Ooh, tried for the excellent, couldn't get it though. That's unfortunate. Oh, ho, ho, ran on me. Officially dark, I have no idea where Wifey is. She said she would come walk. I don't even know if she's in the park. I'm gonna walk around where I think she would have parked. Maybe she can find me if she's watching the stream. It's happened before. The screen's so bright it was kind of blinding me, so I had to turn it down. Where's Wifey? She may still be at her gym class, I don't even know. Oh, Krabby. Come on, Krabby. Krabby in the park, you guys. Oh, no shiny today. Five, 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 Krabby. Oh, no shine on the crab. No shine crab. That's another reason why I like this park, because it gets just a little bit of water spawn, and water spawns are always good. Especially in Sacramento, they're hard to get, so yeah, water spawns are definitely good. Can't believe I got the shiny earlier. 
shiny Pikachu. Well, there's still shiny checks. You guys know I'm always down to check for shinies. So, that's just what I'm doing. Oh my God, I saw a rat. Oh, there's a rat. I see a rat, you guys. I gotta get out of here. Okay, guys. I'm gonna end the stream. I saw a rat. <laughs> oh, no. I saw another rat. Oh, my God. I saw a rat, you guys. El Raton. I never did find wifey. I found a wild ratata, but I did not find wifey. I think I'm gonna go and check this Pikachu and then I'll probably just bounce you guys. I don't know. I don't I think she's done with her yoga class. But I have no idea. Oh my god, I heard a rat. Wild Rattata has appeared. Wild Rattata, get away from me. I don't want to catch you. I got a shiny Pikachu. Yay! Shiny. For those of you who were wondering, yes, I caught Shiny Pikachu in the Pikachu nest while I was Shiny hunting. Shiny hunt has been successful. Which is why I'm ready to call it a night and go home, but um, I have no idea where wifey is. No clue. Hundo Omanite in Argentina? Nice. How is there another Pikachu over there? I was literally just over there. The spawn rate for Pikachu here is incredible. 
And they all seem to be pretty good, too. Level 30 hundo. Did you catch it anyway? Probably not. She probably already got level 35 hundo. Like three of them. I missed my old account. I actually had good Pokemon on there. But this one will be good eventually. Oh my god. Pikachu. I choose you. Just look at the spawn rate for Pikachu in this nest, you guys. Like, I just wish that all nests were like this. Like, if it's going to be a nest, they should increase the spawn rate and make it to where, like, you would actually want to go there. Because there's some nests that are really bad. They don't have good spawn rate, and then you wouldn't want to go there. Like the Squirtle nest right next to this, for example. Very bad spawn rate. Sometimes you get no Squirtles in the nest. But, sometimes you get two. So it is technically a nest. Dude, I'm so hungry right now. I know, everyone's so salty because I don't spoof anymore. Trust me, you guys aren't half as salty as I am. I love spoofing, it was really fun. I spent $2,000 of very real money on that account and it got banned. So, trust me, nobody's more salty than me about it, but if I can find a way to move on, I'm sure you guys can too. This is my account. But yeah, I mean, I'm not tripping about it. It's water under the bridge. I just hope they leave me alone. I'm playing organic. All I want to do is play some Pokemon Go like I wanted since 2016, but they refuse to spend all the money that we spent on game development. They want to spend it on marketing or some ad agency or, you know, trying to build AR for iPhone, but not for Android. Apparently they got like a hundred projects to spend the money on that isn't making Pokemon Go great again. So, I'm just like, that's fine. I won't give you guys any more money. I can live with your crappy game. I can live with you guys having bugs on every single update. The latest bug that I recorded today, I recorded a bug today. I caught a, um, I caught a Wingull. The Wingull transformed into, well, the Wingull didn't transform, but the Wingull, uh, after I caught the Wingull, it said it was a Sunkern. I got it on video. So, I mean, like, it's just, it's just like you can't deny it. They make a bad game. They haven't put good work into this game. But I'm just like, leave me alone. Quit harassing me. Quit banning my accounts. I'm playing the game. I'm not doing multiple accounts. I'm not doing any of that stuff. So leave me alone. I'm just trying to play the game. I've never been targeted and harassed by like a multi-billion dollar corporation before. It actually makes me feel kind of important, but I also am like, I don't know, how petty are these people? Like they're actually gonna spend their time targeting people like me and targeting people like Brandon Tan, watching our streams and watching our social media and banning our accounts as some kind of knee-jerk reaction to what we've been doing for two years that they haven't felt the need to react to for two years. Just like, I don't even know what's going on with Pokemon Go anymore. Not to mention the new privacy policy. I don't know if you guys saw that privacy policy. It basically says that they can spy on you and see what websites you're going to. I'm like, why does Pokemon Go need to see what websites I'm going to? Oh, they want to find out if I'm trading Pokemon on a website. They want to find out if I'm selling Pokemon on a website and then they're going to ban you for that too. So they're going to take your web browsing history and then they're going to ban you for what's in your web browsing history. And it even says in the new privacy policy that whatever they feel is unethical. It's not even just stuff that breaks the terms of service, but it's up to them what they feel is unethical and they'll ban you for unethical playing. So yeah, that terms of service is, or that privacy policy, whatever you want to call it, that thing is insane. They did a number on that one. So yeah, can't believe it. I think they actually want to kill their own game. They don't want to manage the community. They don't like being game developers. They just want to be technology developers and sell all that technology to game developers, but not actually have to manage any game community, which isn't what they sold Nintendo. 
and it isn't what they sold Google, so they're gonna have to fulfill, they're gonna have to be Pokemon Go's developers, but it just seems like they don't want to. So they're just gonna go on a banning spree, which is what they're doing right now. They're like, we don't feel good about the game that we created for the last two years, so we're gonna ban all of you for playing it. Real fair. They don't feel good about the job that they did as developers for two years, so they're gonna ban all of us for playing the game. That was, I mean, that's all we could do was just play the game. There's a Pikachu here, but I'm not getting it. Just, oh, is he in the corner? Is that the one? Sometimes there's one on that corner, and then sometimes there's one inside the rose garden. That might actually be the one, though. If it still shows on the nearby, then I'm going to have to go in there and get it. Let's see. It still shows. All right, we're going in, boys. We're going in, boys. It's dark in the rose garden. I'm scared. There's probably a rat in here. Dude, if there's a raccoon in here and he jumps on me, I'm probably going to die, you guys. Okay, Pikachu. Okay, get out of here. Danger. Yeah, I've been spending my money on Jurassic World Alive. They actually respect their community, so. Yeah, I'm just playing free to play Pokemon Go now. And then, um, spending the, you know, little bit of spend that I'm spending on Jurassic World Alive, but I'm really not spending that much on any games lately because I've been kind of broke. Obviously, the end of summer is like the worst time for all YouTubers because all the kids go back to school and they have fresh homework and they're not watching as much content and that's fine, it's no big deal, it's just part of life. So, um, yeah, I've just been spending less on the games that I play just to make up for that, to make sure that I'm not being irresponsible. Now we're gonna find Wifey and I think she's gonna be parked on this street and if she's not, then I have no idea. Pikachu! I guess you could play both at the same time if you had two phones. But otherwise you wouldn't be playing at the same time, you'd just be switching back and forth between them. That's not really multitasking. You're only doing one thing at a time. You're just losing efficiency on both games at the same time and playing neither of them very effectively but it does happen i do it sometimes not often like if we're driving i'll usually play jurassic world alive especially if it's the freeway but then sometimes on surface streets i'll play pokemon go because it's slow enough that we can actually get spawns and spin stops but for the most part driving is uh Jurassic World Alive, walking is Pokemon Go. That's pretty much how I've broken it out in my own gameplay. I really don't see wifey, I wonder what happened. I think she's fine, she's just probably still at her yoga or something. Somebody banned that L Extronic guy. He guy's a moron. 
That's a ban. Any mod who feels like banning, go for it. I give you my permission. What kind of idiot would break their bank playing a mobile game? That's stupid. I have an entertainment budget. I choose how to spend it. Just like anybody. I have a certain amount of money that I can spend on games. I'm just no longer spending it on Pokemon Go because the developers of this game are trash. They're trash people with no morals who steal money from little kids. So, that's their choice. I'm not going to give them my money. I don't support that. You know? <clears throat> but Jurassic World Alive, they're good people. I can tell they're good people. They launched their game with a community management team intended to interact with the community from their game. They know what people want, they know what doesn't work in the game, and they fix it immediately. That's how development should be. You pay your developers with the money that you make from the game and you fix the problems that the community addresses. But never got that in Pokemon Go. We still don't have that in Pokemon Go. So there's just no reason to spend money on this game for that reason. They don't, they just take your money and run. They're definitely not spending it on developers, that's for sure. I feel bad for the people who develop this game. They probably have way more work on their plate than they can handle. They get no respect. They probably don't get paid nearly what they deserve compared to other developers in their space. But who knows, I don't know. Just speculating. I assume that they'd do better work if they got paid the amount of money they should get paid. Most people who do really crappy work don't get paid what they deserve, so they don't feel like doing the work. They work only as much as they get paid for. So, I'm guessing they don't get paid very much because they don't do very good work. I have no idea where Wifey is, you guys. Did somebody ban that guy? Please tell me somebody banned him. I want him banned so badly. <laughs> guys I'm done I'm like actually done I'm gonna end the stream done uh, it says there's Pikachu over here and I still didn't get it from earlier so I think I'll go read it I skipped that Pikachu earlier yeah did somebody say Ludia is worse than Niantic that's funny they actually told people what they consider breaking the terms of service in their game so they put it in the actual game they put in an announcement that said, hey guys, if you're spoofing, you're cheating, and we're gonna ban you, and here's what you can do about it. And they had a whole series of steps that you could go through to make contact with their company, and basically, you know, I don't know what the process was like, but I guess you could get right with Ludia and, you know, make the, and be able to play the game, which is probably what they want, so. That's pretty transparent. They did all that within a couple of weeks, actually a couple of months of launching their game. So that was very transparent. It all happened within a couple of months of them launching their game and they banned people very quickly. They didn't take those people's money and take it and take it and take it for two years and then say, oh, we're gonna ban you. And that's what everybody's so upset about. They took all of our money for two years and then said, oh, we're gonna ban your accounts. We don't like the way you played. It's like, well, you certainly didn't mind taking all my money. You certainly didn't mind taking quite a bit of my money. And now suddenly you want to tell me that I played in a bad way. It's never been announced in the game. They never put any announcement in the game that said, don't spoof. Here's what we consider cheating. Here's an announcement about fair gameplay. None of that ever came out. That was never in the game. They put it everywhere aside from in the game. They put it on their website, they put it on Twitter, they put it on Niantic's website, they put it every single person or every single place that they could think to put it aside from in the game. So, 
And for two years, they ignored it. They just acted like it wasn't happening and took everybody's money. Like Brandon. Everybody is talking about the Brandon Tan situation. And that's one of the most egregious things that they've done. But before they banned Brandon Tan, they banned people like me who spent a lot of money. They banned people that I know spent a lot of money on iOS. No contact, no process. Nothing you can go through, just a ban with no warnings. So, after two years of having no issues, it just makes no sense. Honestly, Niantic reminds me of Trump. Not to get too political, but Niantic does remind me of Trump. Everybody that they don't like, they just silence them. Everybody who's on their side, they control what they're allowed to say and control the dialogue from everybody on, on their side, like all their YouTubers that are in their pocket. And then everybody that they don't like, like me and FSU and Lifting and Brandon Tan, they just ban us and try to silence us. I'm like, that's kind of like a dictatorship, isn't it? Like. I don't know. I just think that that's not the way you should act. It should be more democratic. They don't even listen to their community whatsoever. Now, I'm not anti-Trump. I'm not going to jump into the politics thing, but Trump does do that. You guys know he does that. He gets mad at people and he takes them out. And <laughs> hey, I'm not saying that's a good or bad thing. I'm just saying that's what he does. He's known for it. <laughs> I'm not saying that's a good or a bad thing. I'm just saying that's how he works. I'm almost done with this live stream. Yeah, they'd rather support idiots like Reversal, seriously. Seriously, well said. I mean, I have no idea why they even work with him. He's got so much spoofing content on his channel. And you know, even, and it goes back to how they control the dialogue. Remember that video that he had to post on his Twitter saying about how because remember i roasted him for a long time because he has that spoofing video with one million views that's on his homepage, that's still on his homepage, and i was roasting him for a long time about that and you guys know they watch my social media so they were mad about that because he won't take down the video of him spoofing so they made him post this tweet that is a video of him saying that he wasn't spoofing in that video and offering some vague proof that he wasn't spoofing in the video. So he was basically saying in his like super shaky, trembling voice that he didn't spoof and he walked across that street and that's how he caught a Grimer. I'm like, even if you didn't spoof, which you did, you still used a scanner to find all the Pokemon in that video. So like, are they gonna ban him for using a scanner? I thought that they were against terms of service. He's got all these Pokemon that he caught with scanners on his account that I guess he's going to use in their PvP tournaments. That's the thing. You know that Niantic is going to host PvP tournaments. They're going to have big, much ado about all their PvP tournaments, but they're not going to make Reversal transfer all of his Pokemon that he caught on trackers. They're not going to make Trainer Tips transfer all the Pokemon he caught on trackers. They're not going to make Mystic 7 transfer all the Pokemon he caught on trackers. So those guys are going to be in Pokemon official tournaments. You know they are. And then they're gonna be battling with a bunch of broken TOS Pokemon, Pokemon that they got by breaking the terms of service. And they're gonna be the little golden boys that are so good and me and FSU and everybody's so bad, but they broke the terms of service just as much as we did. You know, it just makes no sense. And they're gonna be using those Pokemon in their tournaments 
so. I'm not anti-Trump, just to go back to that for a second. He's the president, so there has to be a certain level of respect for that. But, um, <clears throat> maybe not for long. <laughs> but still, um, you know, I, you can't be anti-president, you know? It's like, you just have to say, we need to do something to get this going. But yeah, I'm not anti. You can't be Bye. anti. Doesn't mean I'm a big supporter, but I'm not anti. I just try to see the good. I just try to hope that he gets some good done while he's in there. I guess that's the best we could all hope for. Oh my god, I don't know where Wifey is, guys. Alright guys, I'm going to end the stream and call her because I have no idea where she is and I'm done walking. I've been out here for two hours walking around ranting about <laughs> Pokemon Go. I said I was going to stop ranting on my videos, but I guess I'm still upset about it because here I am ranting still, but you know, I think about this stuff. I think about it a lot. It's like, how are they the poster boys? How are they the golden boys when they did all the same stuff that we did? Reversal spoofed for a super long time. Reversal has eggs, or he has videos on his channel of how to hatch eggs without walking. He still has those videos on his channel. How to hatch eggs without walking. You put your phone inside a Pringles can and you shake it around until your egg hatches. Why is that video on his channel? It's so anti, like they're saying that they're gonna ban trainers that they find to be unethical, all right? He didn't maybe break the terms of service with that video, but it is certainly unethical. He's not walking. He's figured out a way to hatch his eggs without walking. I mean, like, yeah, of course he got like millions of views on that video because everybody wanted to see that video. But is it unethical according to the way that they want the game to be played? But I guess that's up to them. They get to decide who are the good boys and the bad boys, I guess. So they're gonna let Reversal play with all the good boys. But why? He made all these videos they're clearly against the terms of service, but, or at least they're not ethical. I don't consider that to be ethical. I'm out here walking my eggs, but he's in there shaking a Pringles can, getting his to hatch. How's that fair? Oh, but yeah, I'm the bad boy. You know, I spoofed for what, like a year? I think I spoofed for like a year. So I'm a bad guy now and he's a good guy. Everybody remembers that, you know, everybody remembers that stuff. Because everybody remembers what YouTube was like before Pokemon Go. Everybody made hack videos. I mean, not me. I never made any hack Clash of Clans videos. I never made any hack Clash Royale videos, you know. But that was just the, that was just the, the landscape of YouTube at the time. People had all these how-to videos, how to do this, how to do that, you know. And that's just what everybody was focused on making when Pokemon Go came out. And then, you know, suddenly those guys got contacted by the big boys over at Niantic and then suddenly they changed over to adventure content and they're all traveling and all this stuff. It's like they weren't making any videos like that before they got contacted. Their whole channel turned into that stuff after Niantic basically prescribed to them what they would do on their channel from thence forward in order to be able to work with them. So it's like you guys will sacrifice all of your creative integrity just to work with some company and let them boss you around. Hey, Golden Fisherman, what's up, my dude? How to spoof using Pringles can, I know, right? Go look at Reversal's video, he's got it. <laughs> I'll promote his channel, he's got some great spoofing videos. You guys can go watch him. How to spoof your eggs with the Pringles can, that was a good one. Kudos to Reversal for that one. Did a great job on that. Teaching the kids how to hatch their eggs without even leaving the house. And the thing is, there's a great need for that content because what's the one thing that kids can't do for this game? Leave the house. Aside from the kid who was hanging out with me earlier, who's blessed, he lives in like a million dollar neighborhood. <laughs> Homie, if you're, shot, if you're still watching, you, you probably have like a really nice house. <laughs> Bless up. <laughs> I live in a nice neighborhood too though. I mean, um, there's like two, three really, really, really good neighborhoods in Sacramento and this is one of them. So, I mean, other than kids like that who live in a super safe neighborhood, and next to a super active park where they're very safe and can hang out, you know, 
it's like, other than that, most kids can't leave the house, so, hey, they need to know how to hatch the eggs with a Pringles can. Is that the homie? Come on. Hey, I was talking about you. <laughs> hey, <laughs> nice to meet nice you. To meet you. He told me all about it, and I was like, oh, that's awesome. You only have like one year until he's taller than you. Right, Enjoy right, it. Right. <laughs> he has the same height as me right now. <laughs> that's his little brother. He's hey. kind of playing, but oh, yeah? still little. <laughs> He's nice, like not nice. Quite that good. <laughs> but yeah, no, we were just grabbing some stops before I go to work. You know, that's that's a good plan. <laughs> Always a good plan. <laughs> I'm trying to find wifey, but uh, I don't know. She said she was gonna come and get me and just walk around, but I haven't seen her. So <laughs> I'm like, I need to end this stream and call her. <laughs> <laughs> probably. Yeah, I should probably do that. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was nice meeting you. Yeah, yeah. What's your name? Uh, I'm Heather. Heather, Jono. Yeah, nice to meet you. That's funny. One of my best friends is husbands. Nickname is Jono. I always hear about Jonos out in the world, but I've never met one. So yeah, I'm, as far as I know, there are Jonos out there, but they're, there they're mysteries to me. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, he was very excited. He's like, "Mom, he's right there in the red shirt." <laughs> I, uh, I think I'm gonna be in this park all week because it's it's Pikachu here, and then the other one's Squirtle. Squirtle. I'm like, I know, I, I know. and it's like, all the ex gyms, so I'm like, really? yep. Now, <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? I'm probably gonna be here at the same time I did yesterday. Yeah. You'll probably see me. I stream about the same time every day. I'm trying to move it earlier. I usually stream at six, and I'm trying to move it to five. And but maybe I maybe on Friday before I go and see Seven Lions. And then usually you can get raids with me because all the people on the stream yeah. will roll out. So yeah, I was surprised there's nobody at the at the raid earlier. I'm like really? Yeah, McKinley Park can be kind of touch and go. Little sometimes. yeah yeah. We did a lot of community. Started doing it at Capital Park. It's so it's good. So much better. Yeah, yeah. If I could deal with all the crowds, I'd probably go over there, and I, I should probably go out there just to get the yeah. face recognition. But I just, I'm so chill. I'm like, I'll go to Southside and catch just as many shinies, yeah, you know. That's true. <laughs> yeah, no. But we had actually a blast. We made a bunch of new friends, and we all hiked together over like three blocks to get the little. That's neck. the one thing I, I, I'm like, if I go there, I know I'll be stopping the whole time, and yeah. everybody's like, can I no, add you? Can I add you? I'll have yeah. full friends. Like I can't. But yeah. Yeah, no, I feel it. it. You actually do get better spawns over there. You do. Yeah. It's good. It's true. It's yeah, super good. Like Southside <laughs> isn't quite as good. Every time I'm at Southside, I'm like, should I go to Capitol? And I'm like, no. <laughs> You're like, Capitol's too crazy. Many people <laughs> it's will just be too there. crazy. I will never get anything done. It's always so lit. <laughs> oh, there's a sable eye. What? Where's the sable eye? Yeah, we got some really good stuff over here, though. Mm, it's in the center of the but park. But I know Dratini Day, we were here the entire time, and I caught only one. One shiny I think they finally what? fixed Community Day to where that stops happening. Because I had Dratini Day Cause for me was the bad last too. Five minutes. Right. The last five minutes is when I finally got. It. I was like, what the crap? That was when I was playing both, and when I played the night before in South Korea, mm -hmm. I caught like twenty. It was crazy. And what? then I played my organic account in real life and walked around, and I got like two. I think it yeah. was horrible. Yeah, it I was, was like, this is bad. Yeah, like, it was pretty. But they're okay. better now. I haven't had that experience in so long. Yeah, like, I know. We well, he got like 14 to my that's like That's pretty darn good. Of the shiny chikoritas. Right. But I was just kind of like, I'm really I <laughs> I play and I love playing, but I play more for him. And chikorita just does not matter at all. Like, it's true. I just wanted the shiny like one of them. Yeah. Two of them maybe. Maybe three so that we can trade them to friends who are like, exactly. don't get to go out. I'm so glad they're trading now because having a, the number of shinies you get from Community Day with no trading is like, I, I what do I need all what's these the low point? IV shinies for? What's like, come on. Like, but now it finally makes sense. Oh, Voli sent me a gift. Voli, is he watching? I need mean, it. Ah, uh, you're going to keep the trash run? I kept mine too. I can't transfer a Mewtwo. I just, I, I, yeah, I can't. <laughs> Although I did the other day. And I caught them to catch one. And so the I caught, I caught you caught the last one, the very last one. That was the one that I did not get. He throws really good, though. I was yeah, impressed. I, I was like, okay, you can, you can. Sometimes throw. I'm like, okay, I have a <clears throat> challenge. Can you help me? Yeah. <laughs> because I'm just like too out of it right yeah, now. Yeah, wifey does that to me. But streamers, I'm gonna end the stream. Thanks everybody for watching. Peace.